Hiya, my name's Steve Grantley. I'm the drummer with Stiff Little Fingers and I'm here at Natal to uh, show off my chrome kit. I first started playing drums when I was 11. That's when I got my first kit, but um, I'd been banging on pots and pans since I was about 18 months old. I don't know why, I was just completely drawn to the noise. I think a lot of kids are, but I just stuck at it. My dad was a drummer fan. He never had a drum kit, but he always used to say to me, watch the drummer, you know, or listen to the drums. And he was a big band fan. So um, the first drummer I was aware of was a guy called Ronnie Verrill, who was in um, all the big bands in the 1950s in the UK. So. That's how I got into drums. My dad was a drummer fan. I listened to the records that dad liked. Um, and I I'd, I'd sort of picked it up when I was 18 months old anyway. By the time I was four, I had bongos. And by the time I was 11, I had my own drum kit. I never wanted to be anything else. I never wanted to be a fireman or a footballer or anything. I just wanted to be a drummer. When I started off, so my drum teacher he got me a job with a Thames Television big band. So I was playing big band jazz. I wasn't reading it because my reading wasn't good enough, but I knew, I knew all the tunes they were playing because it was all Ted Heath stuff that I'd listened to, you know, from back in the day. My dad was playing me records, you know, and I was listening to Ronnie Verrill, so I knew that stuff. So I started off playing jazz. But I think it was being a John Bonham fan, being a Cozy Powell fan, and the, the way they hit. Stuart Copeland is a big influence and they're all big hitters. So I just think also the um, adrenaline that I get when I play, I can rid myself of that adrenaline, if you like, by really getting dug in. Um, then relating that to punk rock and what Stiff Little Fingers do, that it only works if it's powerful and energetic. So it suits me perfectly because I've got loads of energy and I'm a really big hitter. With Stiff Little Fingers, I haven't got time to go around big racks of toms. So this setup is practical it's for utility, but obviously very much a John Bonham setup. I like big drums. One of the reasons why I use big drums is because I'm quite a big guy. And if I use an ordinary drum kit with a 22 inch kick drum, it looks like I'm sitting behind a kid's drum kit, you know? So I like big drums. Um, I love the chrome because I just think it looks flash and it looks great under the lights. And I think that it's all part of the performance. So it's for the audience as well, because this has like a black sheet over it. So when we're just about to go on, the black sheet's taken off and people get their phones out and take photographs because it's a good looking kit. So I think it's all those things together. I like metal snares, but I like this. This is this is bra hammered brass, 14 by six and a half. This is, I think it's 14 by 11. I like big toms, I like the square look. This is 26 by 16. This is uh, 16 by 16, and this is 18 by 16. Um, and I like big, chunky drums. So I get a big, chunky sound out of them over the PA. Sounds great. There's some parts with stiff little fingers where they're big tom patterns, and these just like a rumble of thunder. So that's great. It, it, it always sounds great. And if it looks good, that's all right by me. Twenty-six years it is. Twenty-six years I've had to put up with that lot. It's my longest relationship. <laughs> now, so Jake Burns is the lead singer and writer of Stiff Little Fingers, and he split the band up in 1983 and got a new band together called Jake Burns and the Big Wheel. And I auditioned for Jake Burns and the Big Wheel and got the job and was in the band for four years. And then I went off with this pop band called Eighth Wonder, and he got Stiff Little Fingers back together again with Dolphin Taylor, who was one of the drummers that he'd used before in Stiff Little Fingers. Dolph was going to leave, and Jake just phoned me up and said, "Do you want to come and play for Stiff Little Fingers?" I wasn't doing anything at the time. I was doing some 
solo records, some solo drum things. I just, but I wasn't in a band, so I said, yep, yeah, I'm up for that. So um, I joined Stiff Little Fingers in like 1997. 